Hello and welcome to this Q&A video. My name is Joe and today I'm going to be answering the question, can basic insulation be left exposed? Now this question came about when Gary and Gordon tested the Wago IPX8 range of gel boxes and they showed in their video the termination stood up to being submersed in a bucket of water. In a later video, Joe tested the boxes again, but this was to the required rating for IPX8 in one meter of water. In both videos, we saw how the Wago gel box was placed inside an enclosure, and that although the connections were IPX8, the full termination was not, and it had to be enclosed in a box for basic protection. Now, lots of you got onto us asking why we had to put those gel boxes within an enclosure, because, well, the terminations were more than adequately protected, so much so they withstood a full one metre submersion. Well, the reason is because we must ensure cable terminations and generally any wiring systems which could be touched by persons or livestock must maintain basic protection and fault protection. But what are they? Well, in BS7671, it says that basic protection is protection against electric shock under fault free conditions. So that's just when everything is working as it should, which is how we want it. But as we know, things don't always go to plan. And as electricians, we have to make sure we provide good enough protection throughout the installation. This means we have to choose the most suitable protective measure for our installation. Or it could be that there's more than one, depending on the installation itself. Now, there are four protective measures that we use most frequently. They are automatic disconnection of supply, double or reinforced insulation, electrical separation, and extra low voltage provided by Selv or Pelv. Now, each one of these has its own requirements for basic protection under fault-free conditions. And what's really important to remember is that depending on what protective measure we use, will depend on the basic protection that we need to provide. But we also need to provide protection if a fault was to occur as well. And that's the part we call, well, you guessed it, fault protection. Now, BS7671 says that fault protection is protection against electric shock under single fault conditions. So how does this fit in with our Wago gel boxes? Well, if you installed the gel box enclosure with single insulation poking out of the box, then the termination would not have met the requirements for basic and fault protection for double insulation. And we can have a look at that regulation now. Regulation 412.1.1 says that double or reinforced insulation is a protective measure in which basic protection is provided by the basic insulation and fault protection is provided by supplementary insulation. Or basic and fault protection is provided by reinforced insulation between live parts and accessible parts. So the basic insulation is a layer of insulation and the fault protection is that secondary layer. So if a cable or termination maintains double insulation throughout its run, it is complying with BS7671 and it doesn't need to be in any additional containment as long as it doesn't need mechanical protection, but that would depend on its location. Now, I do get asked about meter tails. I mention this because as I've been on lots of jobs where the previous electrician has stripped the outer insulation back to expose the basic insulation for identification purposes, and normally where cables enter a, like a meter box or a service box or an Enley block. Now this would not satisfy BS7671 as the tails at that point would have been reduced to the basic insulation only. If, however, it was contained within an enclosure like the top of a main switch, then that would be okay although sleeving does do just as good a job. It's also very common as well to find ceiling pendants where the basic protection of the flex is poking out of the pendant or ceiling rows. So something to watch out for when you're doing your EICRs. So there we have it. If you found this video interesting, then be sure to check out the vast array of videos we have at efix.co.uk. But until next time, TTFN, ta-ta for now.